I'm Dean Kotacki with Envia in the United States, and I'm talking with Tiago in Germany about our M-Sense moisture sensor and applications in the food industry. Um, what what would be a typical application for our product, Tiago? So the M-Sense is our moisture measuring device, and a typical application would be installing a moisture measurement before or after a dryer. It can always be to check the moisture, material moisture related to the product quality. For example, if the material gets too wet, it can be a problem. If it gets too dry, it can even be explosive. The moisture, it's a really important component to be measured. What what makes up a typical application? A typical installation is it just the sensor or is there more components that go with it so the m sense installations look like that we always have a well-known socket it looks like that and this well-known socket goes in the application point so we weld this adapter and we drill a hole through the adapter for the sensor to be inserted always have contact with the material renewing material because this is a continuous measuring device. The MSense goes connected to a C1 box and using a C1 box, we are able to go up to 300 meters from the sensor point to the evaluation unit point. With the evaluation unit, we have the conversion to the sensor signal to a 420 output or a digital output with relay contact. Can I install an MSense in something that isn't a pipe or a free fall? Can I put it on my conveyor belt? Can I put it in my hopper? Where else can I install an M-Sense? Very good question, Dean. So the M-Sense, it's always installed in points where the material is always moving. So think about a rotary feeder. In a rotary feeder, we have always the blades moving the material. So we mm -hmm. place the sensor in a point where the material is always renewing, always moving on top. This kind of installation, rotary feeder, different measuring devices, they cannot do because the rotary feeder is completely closed. Thinking about conveyor belt installation, sensor should be installed facing down and then the material flows touching the sensor surface from the bottom. Okay. In hoppers, for instance, we should place the sensor in the walls of the hopper and then have a minimum level of material to make sure we always have material covering the sensor surface. We don't half of the sensor with the material and half with the air. Always are looking for a fully loaded hopper. Okay. What is a typical what is a typical industry application that would use an M sense? Is it food food related? Is it raw grain handling, mineral? Give me an example if you could. So food industry, cement is the same thing because they have dryers. So we have measuring points before and after the dryer. Think about animal food. Animal food is also a big application glass manufacturer, pulp and paper. Think about biomass, wood pellets. Okay. It's a great thing to measure. Any application with raw solid materials where moisture is an important thing to measure. Okay, so moisture, moisture content matters to any number of industries. Yeah. Um, is there a short example you could give for how M-Sense can improve energy efficiency at the customer level? Normally, the dryers, they need uh, fuels to control the burning. They use okay. materials, they use gas, they can use uh, pellets, burning pellets, they can use coal, they can use any kind of fuel to increase or decrease the temperature in order to mm -hmm. control the mm -hmm. moisture. So measuring the moisture, we can optimize the burning consumption for in the dryer. That means okay. if we control the exactly amount of moisture in real time, we can control the gas injection, the oil injection, 
the cold injection in the dryer. So we, we improve the fuel efficiency and the fuel consumption. Okay. Thank you for answering my questions on this, Tiago. Right. It should be clear, I think, at this point to everyone that measuring moisture on a continuous basis with the M-Sense will result in the opportunity for improved process control, improved right. raw material flow, uh, savings of material, not wasting material, and there's also the potential to save energy by allowing your dryers and other aspects of the process to work more efficiently. So I, I'd like to thank you for explaining this to me. And I see that there are some links to some case studies so that customers can, can look at this more in depth. And I invite everyone, if you have questions, please contact us, uh, contact myself, contact Tiago, We'd like to learn more about your application. Please follow the links to the case studies, follow the links to the products. Uh, our contact information will be there. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions on how MSense can fit into your process. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you very much. Ciao, ciao.